So the Axabot cape is pretty much just a muffler bypass or muffler delete as most of you guys can call. Um, I was honestly surprised of how much volume it, it made, it, it added and how much of a difference it made it. Like now it crackles way more. Um, I can definitely feel like how much more flow there is. Um, and also I can like the pops, like even though it's like lot longer, it's also louder too. Um, and it just makes the car like so much more fun because before like although like you know for stock car is pretty good like it had the pops and everything just like hearing like how much lively it is it just adds so much character to the car um, so as you guys can hear right now like I'm in traction mode which is how I usually drive um, a little bit of slight drone from like 2000 so right now I'm at 2000 RPM 2000 to 3000 RPM is a little bit of drone um, but the best part is like for me especially like I do a lot of highway driving and um, on highway driving like from 100 to 120 to 140 like it's absolutely quiet like it's almost just like stop which is really surprising um, I wasn't expecting that at all because usually like I'm used to like four cylinders that like highway speeds and drones so much um, so this is like a really good cruiser the only, the only drone you'll notice is like especially like, when you start it up at like cold start you'll hear a little bit and then when you're just getting off and the car is like cold right now it's four degrees outside so it's super cold super super droney but it's, it's pretty nice like and you guys can hear the pops like i think i like the best when i downshift even more the pops when it's like even louder it's like even at higher rpms those are the best like those like literally pop otherwise it's just like crackles um but yeah like in terms of the development like um i remember like when mbrp was looking at it uh, originally they wanted to do like a typical capback system um and you know when they did their flow test what they noticed is that up until the resonators so this car actually has two resonators just like the m235i uh so similar to that like um actually no never mind the m235 i believe only has one resonator this has two resonators um but yeah similar to that um what they notice is like up until the resonators the flow was pretty much the same so they're like okay let's make something that's like cost efficient and also gains power because their rule of thumb is you know it doesn't make power like they're not gonna add it to the car right it has to make even if it's one horsepower two horsepower it cannot it, it has to do that uh, so then I think they were gonna make it something similar to the Supra where it's like you have like one muffler with a valve um, so the difference with the main difference between the Supra and this car is like the Supra um, when you press sport mode whether it's cold or not cold or whatever it'll actually open the valves um, on this car, it's a bit finicky. Like so, for example, if you press sport mode when it's cold, when you cold start, or when you start at all, um, it takes, I believe, three minutes for the valves to open. Um, and even when you're in sport mode, like sometimes, like it doesn't fully open the valves. Like, and I've noticed that too. Like it'll add the burbles and everything, but it just won't open it. And when you're in comfort, it'll only open after like 4,500 RPM or something like that. So because of that whole like finicky thing. Um, they just avoided the whole valves and honestly like It's pretty good because like your comfort mode. So I'll put it back to comfort Your comfort mode is pretty much like your your valves closed, right? Because you don't get any pops. So as you can hear There's no pops The upshift is just a nice slight crackle, but uh, if we Go back to sport mode You can hear all those pops Yeah, so as you guys heard like in the sport mode So far, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think down the road, I would like to delete both the resonators. Although it doesn't make any more power, I think it would be interesting to just uh, 
added just for like that sound because right now like my only gripe with this exhaust I would say is the pops are loud um, maybe it's like I think from the outside it's very crisp but from the inside I guess because you know VW like the good quality it just doesn't sound as crisp as I'd like it or I guess like as it used to be it used to be very like precise the crisp like now the, the pops like now it's very like muffled I feel like so I'd like to get that um, I've read on the forums and people's videos that like usually to get that crispiness like you want uh, uh, callus downpipes so maybe like that is the option um, but honestly like this is a sports car like I really don't mind street piping it and having that drone um, like I think it would be pretty interesting to just like have a fully straight pipe like callus downpipes res delete muffler delete pretty much like a race car um but let's see um but yeah if you guys have any more questions